what's up it's clarina addict here you guys asked me a ton of questions in my ask me questions video and i want to be answering them or at least trying to answer them all in this video let's jump into it because i have a lot of comments to go through okay so katie cat asks if you could play any other instrument what would you play also love your videos thank you katie if i could play another instrument it would definitely be oboe i tried to switch to oboe my sophomore year and my band director was trying to keep me from switching because I was pretty good at clarinet then, but I really wanted to try oboe. So I found a junkie one in our band room and I was like, hey, here's an oboe. It's like, I'm gonna learn how to play it. It was like the only one that we had. And the F key, I don't know, like the button you hit to play F on the horn would not work. And you know, like I needed that button to play the other buttons. So I like, I practiced it for like two days and I was like, great, I'm not gonna be able to learn. And then a year later, after we're cleaning out our middle school band room, I find a really nice wooden oboe in there. And I'm so upset, I would love to play oboe. You get way better scholarship opportunities when you play oboe. And I just felt like I was gonna be able to succeed with oboe a lot better than I would clarinet. And Game Addiction said, what's the most difficult piece you've ever performed? So I'm just going to use this term as like ensemble piece because the most difficult piece I've ever performed had to be Recoil by Joseph Swatner. And you can check it out on my Facebook page. I have a snippet of like my camera in my lap and us practicing Recoil. Look at the song. It is crazy. I played it in my college ensemble and we actually ended up going to Charleston to perform that at CBDNA a couple years ago. and. It was awesome because Joseph Schwantner was there and after we performed it, he ran up to the stage and gave our band director a high five. It was like, oh my god, that's the guy who wrote this piece? I don't know, it was so cool. Also, John Mackey was there, so that was also cool. Val Barrio says, how do you get the best sound on your clarinet? Is there a specific thing you do with your embouchure? And the answer to that is, I feel like my tone comes from the clarinets that I play on and I think it's pretty much impossible for you to get a good tone on a plastic clarinet whenever you're first starting out. The way to go, for me anyways, my personal opinion, don't get upset, is to get a wooden clarinet. You'll have to put a lot warmer air and you'll have to put more air into it to be able to play it. And um, also the mouthpiece and the ligature can also help with your tone. So make sure to get a really nice setup and then your tone will sound good, hopefully. Derek Jara or Jara said, I'm having trouble with getting out the high E on my clarinet because it's really out of tune. I also just got new reads, but it's still out of tune. Any suggestions? I'm not really too sure if you're speaking of the altissimo E or the uh, E that's on the last space of the staff. Um. Yeah, I don't know if you're talking about the one in the staff or the one that's altissimo. Um, I would suggest getting a tuner and having the tuner on and play with that note over and over and fiddle with your embouchure and see how you can get it in tune with the set embouchure and uh, pretty much put that into your routine of practicing. Once you hit that note, your mouth will adjust and will keep it in tune if you practice it. Nathan Hogg says, does your sheet music come from viral? And the answer would be yes and no. The recenter videos that I made came from viral. I really liked the way that they had their videos set up and I really liked using them. They definitely helped me out. But before I found viral, I would go onto Google and type in something along the lines of Adele Hello Clarinet Sheet Music and I would go through all the links until I found a full sheet music page that was free and I would just get that. And you guys ask me all the time like how do you get the sheet music or where are the notes if it's not working it's like Google, insert name of song here, clarinet sheet music, Google it. I mean really you can find the stuff. 550MAB08 asked um, can you do a behind the scenes video like camera placement in rehearsal? 
and I've had a couple people request that already. I'm gonna think about doing it. I, there really isn't much behind the cameras before editing or anything. I just sit down and go with it usually. So maybe we'll see how it goes. What is the worst clarinet you have ever played on and what's the worst thing that, that ever has happened to your clarinet? The worst clarinet that I ever played on, believe it or not, was a Buffet R13. Something was wrong. There was a major pad air leak somewhere in this thing. This was whenever my clarinet cracked and I had to borrow one from the music store and they gave me an R13 and was like, here, try this, see if you like it. And that thing was terrible. It was awful. They really needed to work on it. I don't know why they suggested that thing. I couldn't play a thing on it. That also ties into what was the worst thing that happened to my clarinet. For some reason, in my region, we do our honor bands during winter. So it's cold outside. I would take my clarinet back to the hotel every night because I was not gonna leave it at the school because this thing was expensive and I paid for it. So I didn't want to leave it there. So on our transit from the hotel to the school that we were doing the honor band at, the clarinet got a little cold. And I came inside and I was like, no one's on stage. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up because I was first chair and I had stuff to work on. So I sat down, got my clarinet out, started playing and didn't realize it, but I cracked the upper joint. The whole upper joint cracked. I had four cracks in this dang thing. Three of them were up here in the front. They were small. The biggest one was the one that went through my register key here. So I went through here and you can, I don't know if the light can pick it up. You can see the pins from where they had to fix it. It went down through here and it went all the way to the F key. And um, to get it fixed, it was around $400. And it was a pain in the butt. I had to play the 11 clarinet. Um, this was the day before our concert. I played the 11 during the concert. That was probably the worst thing that's happened to my clarinet. I'm pretty lucky if that's the worst. Martin Bernard asks, what are all the brands and models of clarinets that you've played on? It can be other people's in a music store, etc. Every make of an E11. So German make, the French make, and the newer French make. My favorite is definitely the German because that's the one I had and it sounds the best. I love the German E11. They don't make them anymore, so you can find them on eBay, but they are the best. Um, I've played my friend's R13s. I've played on a buffet festival. I played on that at Allstate, just at a music booth. Um, it was, it was pretty good. I played on some Yamaha clarinets. I don't remember exactly the model because I played with them on a booth and it was in the middle of Allstate, so I wasn't, I was just playing just to play on other things. Played on Artley's, Selmer, these are student models, Selmer. I played on my private lessons teachers, uh, a Selmer privilege. And that thing was beautiful. That's definitely the best clarinet I've ever played on. Mark Bernard also asks, what is my favorite football team? And I don't like sports really at all. So I don't really have a favorite. I don't really care. <laughs> Angel Ortiz, I don't know how you say it. I'm sorry, I'm butchering your all's names. Says, what do you think is the hardest thing to learn on clarinet? And it would definitely be a uh, glissando. Like, that is the hardest thing ever. Um, I just thought of another hard thing. Circular breathing. Like, how in the heck do you circular breathe? Like, I've, I've watched tutorials and everything, but I just cannot circular breathe. And my private lesson teacher can't circular breathe either. He's been playing clarinet for, like, his whole life. And <laughs> he can't do it. Murky Cookie. <laughs> that is such a cute name, by the way. Ass. I've only been playing clarinet for a year. Do you have any tips on how I can get better at reading music? My suggestion would be to get a music book from your band director or from a local music shop. Open it up and find music that you think looks hard to you or looks like you might be able to learn it in a year, but it looks really hard. Find a song in there and work your butt off learning the song. Like if it's 16th notes that are driving you nuts or triplets, pick a song out that has that. You're only gonna get better by practicing something that you're not good at. Most band directors have books set aside for like solo and ensemble. And even if you've been playing for a year, you can ask them to like, you can tell them like, I'm wanting to improve my 
reading abilities, do you have any extra books that I might be able to borrow for a week? I don't think they would say no. Rise Park says, I want to change instruments. Which one should I play? P.S. I play the bassoon. And my thoughts are, you play the bassoon, why would you want to switch? Double read instruments are just the best. To me, anyways, you get so many scholarship opportunities on a double readed instrument, you have no idea. If you don't want to play the bassoon anymore, I would suggest going to oboe. There just aren't that many school programs that have oboe players or bassoon players, and you're already ahead of a lot of people because you're playing a bassoon. It's like, you are crazy. Play the bassoon. The bassoon sounds so good. I love it. It's great. Play the bassoon or oboe. Molly and Moore says, what strength read do you use? I use a three and a half read, and I've been using three and a half reads since I was in high school. I don't like moving up to a four because it's a little too hard for me. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like the content of the video and you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.